So I've got a bit of an issue with my countryman. It doesn't lock or unlock or respond to anything in the key fob. The key fob works, it starts the car, it still runs, but the buttons don't work, so I can't lock my car. So let's go ahead and see if we can figure out what's going on and if we can fix it all in this one video. I don't know if it's gonna work, but let's, uh, let's go see. So a little bit of backstory of what's going on here. I am paying an idiot tax because I left my sunroof partially open one night and the car was parked on a bit of a down slope going facing down and the sunroof area filled up with water which dripped into the car and fell and filled up these floor mats. Uh, they're the rubber uh, heavy duty mats so they held all the water like little two little ponds and all the water was dripping down the rear view mirror. It came in through there just dripped down it, that rear view mirror was full of water. After doing a little bit of research, I discovered that the antenna receiver for the key fob is in the rear view mirror. So everything else works on the car. The buttons still work inside the car. Now I did some other troubleshooting just to try and find out what was going on. I did check all the fuses in the fuse panel to that relate to this to see if it maybe blow, blew a fuse. Um, everything looks okay. Everything else works okay. The radio, which received a lot of the drips of the water, is working okay. Um, the car locks and unlocks. The windows all open and close. So it's really just the key fob that is not talking to the car uh, via that antenna, which is up in that mirror. I could take the rear view mirror off and try and soak it in rice and see if that's going to work. But my uh, local mini dealership actually had one of the mirrors that I need, the exact part in stock. So I said, let's just go ahead and do that. And we'll make a video on showing you how to change it. Okay, so how do you remove the mirror? Uh, this is gonna be the instructions for, I believe, all the R series cars. I don't think this applies to the F series cars, but if you're a mini mechanic, uh, let me know down below what the proper procedure is for those other cars. So your mileage may vary depending on your model. Again, this is a 2013 R60 Countryman. So what you're gonna do is grab the base of the mirror behind the, behind the actual mirror itself here and you're gonna twist it towards the driver's seat. I find putting a little bit of upward pressure helps a little bit, so I'm gonna push up and twist. There we go. So now we're dangling by the cord, um, and what we're gonna do is just kind of pop open the back housing um, of this mirror here, and you gotta kind of move the mirror around to get the housing out. And then we have access to our cable that we want to unplug. Oh, real quick, before we continue, if you wanna see me try and disassemble this mirror, see what's inside, stick around to the end of the video. We'll give that a shot. Now your cable may look slightly different depending on the model of rear view mirror you have. Some are auto dimming. Um, this one is more of a manual model, so it doesn't have anything special besides the antenna to our key fob. Uh, so just keep that in mind when you're looking for the replacement model for your car. You gotta make sure you get the proper uh, rear view mirror to replace the one that you have, whether it's auto dimming, the manual one, whatever you have, make sure you look that up. This connector looks fine. And I was told that sometimes this connector does come loose and to check that first, um, this one was not loose, it was fine. And I've already checked it once. And so we are going to replace the mirror. So we got the new one right here. Thanks to my buddy Jason for sending this over so quick. All right, here we go. Here is the new mirror. Now it doesn't appear to come with the plastic housing that goes around it, so don't throw that away just yet. And there's the new mirror. Can you see yourself in there, guys? Hey, there you are right there. <laughs> okay, new mirror. Let's get this situated. Obviously the uh, dimming button goes on the bottom. But let's just plug it in and see if it actually works, uh, solves our issue. That would be stupendous if it did. All right, we're gonna take our plug. It only goes one way, so you can't mess up that. Just look at the connectors. They only fit together one way. I'm gonna let that dangle for just a second. Here's the key fob. Oh, functional. Yes, this car works again. So the issue was, all the water that ran through this mirror just waterlogged it. Um, I could probably disassemble it, throw it in some rice and, and try and fix it. But again, 
the dealership had one of these in stock and it just made sense. I had them ship it to me really quick. And you know what's the best part about this? There's no programming required there. That just works with the key fob. It's really just receiving the signal and sending that along to the car. So let's go ahead and put this back together and consider this job done. We're gonna take our plastic housing and we do have to adjust the mirror to fit it in there because it does tuck into that uh, little socket in the back. Take the other end. Snap it together. Now make sure you've tucked the plug back into its little housing in there. Then we just feed the cable up there slowly. Put this right back to where it was. push up and twist. Yes, functional mirror. So that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you've learned two things. One, how to replace the rear view mirror in your R-Series uh, Mini. Two, don't be a dummy like me and leave your sunroof open on a uh, rainy night. So <laughs> leave any questions or comments you have down below. I'll try and answer them if I know them. Uh, but as always, when you see other minis out there, don't forget to wave. I'll cut you all in the next one. Bonus footage is if you stuck around, we're gonna take apart this mirror. Never done it before. There's no uh, visible screws there on the back in those holes. So I see this seam right here. So I think that might be some trim we can pop off. So I'm gonna set the camera down and let's see if we can't figure this out right now. Okay. Oh yeah. That's promising. Yep. A couple of clips. glass is so cool it's really thin at the bottom but really thick at the top uh, so it's what you would call tapered I guess that's so it's always kind of like angled down towards the driver a little bit because it's always up high but okay so let's look at some interesting parts um, of this mirror again this is a manual one so there's not much going on in here but here is the antenna you can see this wire that's the antenna, which operates at 315 megahertz, according to the board that it's printed on. Um, and then we have the circuit board right below it, uh, which is what plugs into the rest of the harness. So the uh, signal comes through this plastic housing, and I think that's important that it's plastic, because if it was metal, it would block the signal from making it through, uh, down to this board, and this board sends a signal to the car to unlock it. And this is what was full of water uh, in my car and why it's not working. I'm, I don't see anything seriously wrong on here yet, but I'll take it apart and look at it. Another interesting thing to point out is that there's these little uh, pieces of rubber here on these four tines. So I'm imagining that you don't hear rattle because the molding is holding the mirror tight up against these uh, four posts. And uh, this rubber, this rubber is preventing it probably from rattling, driving you crazy. Um, so yeah, cool little design in there. Again, this is a really simple one. This is a manual mirror, no auto dimming or anything like that. Thanks for sticking around. I'll see you guys later.